All right, so welcome to the night hacking interviews at the QCon conference. My name's Stephen Chin, and we're going to be doing live streamed interviews here all week during lunchtime. I have the pleasure of being joined by Chris Richardson, um, who has a new startup, Eventuate. So go to eventuate.io and check out his new startup. And you're also the jug leader for the Oakland Java User Group. I am, yes, the o Oakland Java Users Group. Yes. Did I, did I say that wrong? No, I don't think so. Yeah, but I we've been that. meeting in in Oakland and actually now in Emeryville since 2003. So nice. quite a long time. I think that might have been the first Java user group in the Bay Area I went to, the Oakland Java user group. Quite possibly, yeah. Yeah, that was that was years ago. Before before I was even like a, a Java, well, I, I was a Java coder, but not a Java community person. Hmm. And now apparently I'm a... That's all I do, <laughs> is Java community stuff. So tell me about what you're what you're up to with your new startup. Oh, okay, yeah. So, eventuate. I mean, we're building a platform that makes it easy to develop transactional microservices. Okay, so that that sounds like something you could sell to a startup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think uh, transactional <laughs> microservices. That's like I'd fund that. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, right now we're self-funded, but um, and and small, but yeah, you know, I'm I'm hoping for great things. Yeah, no, it's, it sounds interesting. Um, and you also you were mentioning you're doing a lot of consulting and training on microservices as well. Yeah. Um, so I split my time um, between doing consulting and training, which actually t is turning out into doing a, a, an awful lot of training. There's a big demand. A lot of people want to learn about microservices, how to apply them effectively. So I, I teach this class. And then also I'm doing the startup as well. Okay. So, well, you, you're, you're a big Scala guy, right? Uh, no. Six one, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what, sort of, what sort of languages and frameworks are you supporting with your, with your startup? So there's actually two parts to the product. So one is the event store service. So the, the actual programming paradigm is based on event sourcing and CQRS. And so part of the product is an event store. Okay. And, th and that has language neutral APIs. So it's got a REST API and a Stomp API. Um, so you could ac access it from any language. But then we're also building frameworks for a particular Lang well, languages and frameworks, so like Spring and Java, Scala, and a node that provide you with a sort of t more tailored development experience. And over time, we hope to expand the range of languages that we support there. Okay, so you're kind of language neutral in a way because the REST API, but correct, yeah. There's some some specific language support. Yes. Okay, that sounds pretty good. How about how about training wise? What sort of what were the most popular frameworks, like big data frameworks, which people are asking you to? Well, I I don't microservices. Uh, I'm I'm into microservices. All right, all right, all right. Which, which microservice frameworks do folks well, ask you for? What I would like to say is that really microservices is an architectural pattern. Yeah. Um, and so at at a very high level, it's fairly technology neutral, but then when it's a come ends up you actually have to write some services then there are particular you know then you obviously you have to make technology decisions at that point and i would say that spring the the whole spring ecosystem is huge you know in itself is hugely popular and spring boot in conjunction with spring cloud is a really really good chassis upon which to write your microservices okay um but you know, people are doing things in .NET or Node or Ruby as well. Um, but I, but if you're in the Java space, I'd highly recommend Spring Cloud. And then another part where you have to make technology decisions is, well, how do I deploy my microservices? And there, obviously, Docker is quite a popular solution there. But you know, some people are just doing it in a traditional deployment environment. Other people are using. Yeah, okay, so it sounds like you really start with more of like a process, how teams work using microservice. Well, it, it's really architectural. 
Uh, that, that, that's first and foremo foremost, it's, it's an architectural pattern. And then once you get down a few levels, you sort think of... technology and then build tec on Yeah, specific technologies come into play. Okay, that's cool. So if they wanted to find out more about your um, training and consulting, where should they go to? Oh, shameless plug time. Yes, yes they, should go to <laughs> they should go to my consulting company's website, which is chrisrichardson.net. Cool. And there you will find a description of my most excellent training classes. <laughs> but you're probably overbooked anyway. I shouldn't be sending people your No, way. no, no. I, I've got time slot. We, we I need time for your startup. Yeah, you should do less training, that consulting, it, more. It's, it's a delicate balancing act, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for the short interview here at the QCon conference. Oh, thank you. This was fun. And if you'd like to watch the recordings, you can go to nighthacking.com. All of the Interviews will be live streamed and recorded there. And um, join us tomorrow at lunchtime for some more interviews. Thank you.